Good evening, guys. Welcome to another English class. And uh, we're going to start in a couple of seconds. Just uh, let's wait for the rest of the students. I have I am receiving some messages about uh, some of you who are traveling from your job, you're moving from your job to your house. So, Alejandra Garcia, Mauricio, and Laura is, um, they are not available by the moment, but let's start the class with the students that we have here now. So good evening, Janet. Hello, how are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Excellent. Everything okay? Okay, that's nice, good. Let's listen, here we have also Juan. Good evening, Juan, how was your day? Fine, teacher, good evening. Okay, I'm fine. fine. Okay, that's nice. Remember, Tuesday, we are closer to the weekend. Un poquito más cerca del fin de semana, okay? Closer. Yes. Just uh, three more days and we're going to be on weekend. Very nice. Here we have also Carla Daniela. Hi there. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? So, so. So, so. Yesterday. Yeah, arriving at home. Okay, I can imagine. Yesterday you were not at class, right? Because no. you were kind of busy. Almost died. <laughs> Dying of what? Love or what? No, because uh, it was tiring day. It's a tiring day. I know. Uh, yes. most, most of the Monday um, really difficult. I know. I actually I tell you a sad story <laughs> on your WhatsApp. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, I, I have yeah. not read uh, some WhatsApp uh, messages. I'm going to read it uh, later. Okay. And then I'm going to answer you. Okay, thank you, Carla, for being here. So, um, thank you for being here. Here we have also Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Hello, teacher. And good evening, how are you tonight? Okay, I hope you are okay. Mm, how are you tonight, Kevin? Very good, nice, more or less, I guess, right. Uh, Fatima, good okay. evening. Okay. Mm, hello, Fatima, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Uh, good, very good, teacher. <laughs> Okay, nice, perfect. So, and let's uh, start with the class. So, hello, Liliana, Fernando, Jose, Noé, Cesar, Flor, Odalis, uh, Mario, Julissa, and Douglas. Liliana, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, this is the first time that I see you. So, very nice. How was your day? No, let's go, teacher. Okay. 
¿Sí? Ahora sí me escuchas. Sí. ¿Sí? Ok, I guess your pet is like barking. Está ladrando tu perrito. Sí, it's por eso. It's very excited. También quiere estar en clase. Very nice. Sí, creo que escucha la voz y se pone así. Ya voy a resolver. Ok, ok. Maybe he's really excited. Ok, and here we have also um, Fernando. Good evening, Fernando. Are you at home finally? Yep. Good evening. Good evening. Finally at home? Yeah, yeah. Okay, everything okay with your day, Fernando? Everything okay, yes. Okay, sounds perfect. Thank you. Yes. Okay, and here we have the class number four. It means that we have 16 classes left. No hace falta 16 clases para terminar eh, este curso. So welcome to the another English class. And we're going to have vocabulary practice for tonight. And so welcome everybody and uh, there are some other students that they're going to incorporate later because uh, they are moving some of them have told me that they finished their um, their job kind of late and i understand that some of you uh, take like one hour to move from your job to, to your house so i know it is not so easy to be on time but thank you for your punctuality okay thank you again for being here and remember uh the, the first uh, thing that i want to tell you is that tomorrow i need you to finish unit five uh, unit one sorry we have the tomorrow we're going to complete the day number five we're going to complete el día cinco. Uh, it means the first week la primera semana so we need to finish uh, unit one. Necesitamos terminar la, las tareas de la unidad uno. Okay. So that's it. Liliana, uh, do you have access to the platform? Yes, teacher. Ahora eh, ya me solucionaron. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. That's really good uh, to know. Eh, Tenemos alguien más que no tenga acceso a la plataforma porque eso es eh, súper eh, importante. Ok, si el resto tiene acceso a la plataforma, perfect. Estamos bastante bien. Ok, we're going to start with this. Uh, here we have some particular vocabulary. And uh, this is words with no plural. Palabras que no tienen plural, bien interesante. Because we have some plurals. For example, we have car, cars. Ok, book, books. We have singular and plural, but here we have some words, a couple of words with no plural. Take a look at this. Okay, so in this case, we, we say, um, I need some information or I don't have information. Would you like some bread? Do you like, what kind of music do you listen? Do we have homework? What, what, is, uh, the, what is your favorite furniture? I need some advice. In this case, information, bread significa pan, mm -hmm. music. Homework, furniture, es eh, mueblería, eh, los muebles. Y tenemos advice, que es consejo. So, in this case, we say some. Some, the, the bread, the music, the information. Como les he dicho, yesterday I was telling you. Esto se pronuncia the, ok? The music. Pero si tenemos vocal. Decimos the information, okay? The advice. This is really important because I have heard that you sometimes say, uh, I don't know, for example, 
the apple. It is not the apple, it's the apple. Okay, so that, that's something important. And we can say musics, informations. It is not uh, correct to say that, okay? We can say some information, the, inf the information, the bread, the furniture, the homework, okay? So that's it. This is the first vocabulary that we are studying. And we have also the second part that I consider very important, ways to say hurry up. When we say hurry up is apurate, apresurate. When you want a person to do something very fast or quickly, okay? And for example, you want to finish something in your job and maybe your, client, your, your uh, co colleague, okay? Your partner is like kind of, uh, he's very slow. She's very slow. Siempre tenemos gente que un poquito a veces lenta para hacer algunas cosas. And we need to push that person. Necesitamos como presionarla. Entonces, en este caso, para decirle apresúrate, apúrate, we can say, come on, chop, chop, step on it, step on it, or oh, step on it. In English, it's similar than Spanish. We join the vocabulary or the words. Eh, a veces unimos bastante las palabras y la, hacemos que suene como una sola frase. So you can say step on it or step on it. Very strange, right? But we do. Um, snap it up. Snap it up or snap it up. Okay? Snap it up. There's no time to lose. There's no, no, there's no time to lose. Como que ya no hay tiempo que perder. Shake a leg, you know, shake is agitar, mueve, mueve esas piernas. Let's speed up. Speed up is um, aumentar de velocidad. Ok, acelerar. Let's speed up. Apuremos, aceleremos. Como, como decimos a veces, meter en la pata. Ok, let's go faster is similar. Vamos más rápido. Ok, so that's it. Come on, chop, chop, step on it, snap it up. There's no time to lose. Shake a leg. Let's speed up. Let's go faster. Speed up. A veces la D eh, puede sonar como eres. Ok. Speed up. Speed up. Bien extraño, ¿verdad? La, la D y la T a veces puede sonar como R en inglés. Ok. And so I'm going to check the attendance list and you tell me hi, hello, good evening. Ok. No me digan good night porque good night es para ir a dormir. Cuando ya tienen la pijama cuando ustedes ya están listos para pues descansar eso es good night ok just let's see ok I'm going to call some of you and you tell me good evening hi hello y después de que me digan verdad que si están aquí presente me mencionan cualquiera de estas frases sé que algunos están de camino así que después los voy a mencionar okay por ejemplo Abel el niño se queda de camino so here we have um, también Alejandra Alexandra Brenda Lisette are you there Brenda okay if Brenda is not here let's go with César Ernesto Bonilla present teacher okay nice César what's the phrase that calls your attention shake a leg okay shake a leg okay uh, y este shake es también aparece en milk shake yes so it's a very common word a veces son palabras tan que ya hemos escuchado but we don't uh, apply them in english okay um it's milk shake batido de leche douglas humberto hello Hello, no. teacher. Oh. Hello, Douglas. Okay, what's... Uh... Come on. Come on, easy, right? Elia Janira? Okay, no, by the moment. Fatima? Hi, teacher. Hello, Fatima. Okay, what's a phrase yes, that you... Okay, easy. Fernando, your turn. Hi. I'm here. Okay, there is perfect. no time to lose. Thank you very much. Flor de Maria. Okay, not by the moment. Uh, Gisela. 
Are you there? Okay. Jose Mauricio is moving. Okay. Juan Cristóbal. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, my Good friend. Evening. What's your friend? Good evening. Chop, chop. Easy. Thank you. Julissa Jamilet. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Come on. Thank you. And Carla Daniela. Hi, teacher. Hello. Snap it up. Thank you. Okay, Laura is moving, right? So here we have Marvin and Nilsson. I'm here. Okay, Marvin. Sleep on it. Good. Okay, and here we have also Mirna. Take a leg. Take a leg, nice for Dalis. Okay, Dalis. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, uh -huh. Dalis. Nice, thank you. Oscar Armando. No, Oscar. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Sí, estoy. Okay, gracias, teacher. Okay. And Rosa del Carmen. No. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez. Hello, teacher. Let's go faster. Thank you very much. And Liliana. Hi. I'm here. It's okay. not it up. Thank you. Mario Eduardo. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Uh, check a leg. Okay, nice. Noe Vladimir. Present. Let's get up. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Adriana Raquel. No, Adriana. Okay. So uh, let's see what do we have here. Flor, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Chop, Are, chop. Okay, chop, chop. Thank you. Perfect. So this is, uh, the, these are some phrases that you can apply in a, in a, yeah, in any conversation. So take one or two that uh, are really interesting for you or three phrases that you like. No es necesario que siempre las diga todas, pero pueden tener como ya una variedad o parte de, parte de algún vocabulario que pueden utilizar. Ok, remember that we were studying adjectives. Here we have the base form, but also here we have the comparative forms. Tenemos la forma comparativa y estuvimos eh, pues viendo esas eh, diferentes opciones para comparar, ok. So here we have this, and uh, tonight we're going to study superlatives. Okay, also, we're going to study superlatives, but before that, we're going to continue with comparatives, and uh, we're going to say some sen uh, sentences, okay? Um, please prepare one sentence that you consider what? Uh, suitable. You can use any words, any word of the pink column. For example, cheaper. You can say hot dogs are cheaper than pizzas. Okay, or oh, hot dogs are cheaper than pizzas or hot dog is cheaper than pizza. So it's not that hot dogs are more expensive than pizzas. And you can use um, whatever adjective you prefer. For instance, here we have, you can use sweeter, que es más dulce. Okay, sillier, que es más, okay. Silly es como bobo, tonto, entonces eso como que todavía más. Sadder, más triste, older, más viejo. So remember always that we need two, um, two subjects. Hot dogs, pizzas. Okay, you can say my cousin uh, is braver than my sister, my father, my, my, my mother, whatever you want to say, my uh, co-workers, my boss. You can compare people situations, places, okay? You can talk about your pets, you can talk about traffic, 
you can talk about your house, whatever, ok, so be ready with your sentence, tengan lista ya su oración, la vamos a hacer un poquito fluido, ok, practice it, in, in this case, we're going to start with Noé, ok Noé, what about you? Hello teacher. Ok, ¿cómo estamos ahí listo con tu oración comparativa? Eh, no la he hecho, pero... Ok, you need to... ocupar eh, older than... Ok. Mm -hmm. My sister is older than, than me. Than me. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ok, we go with Mario and then Liliana. Ok, no, Mario. Yeah. You go. Uh, brownies are sweeter than cookies. Okay, definitely. Thank you. And Liliana, and then we go with Kevin. Peter, I'm not ready. Okay, no estás lista. No problem. Let's uh, wait a little bit. Now we go with Kevin and then Oscar. Okay, Kevin. No la tengo lista todavía. Ok, now let's go with Oscar and Odalis. Ahorita también estoy en eso, teacher. Ok, Odalis and then Janet. Odalis. Teacher ready. Sorry. Ok. Eh... Listo, teacher. Okay. Oscar. Maybe. Okay. Liliana and then Oscar. Okay, Liliana. Maybe the dog is more beautiful than cat. Okay, nice. <laughs> Definitely. I like, I prefer dogs. Thank you. And here we have also who? Oscar, right? Okay. My new car is cheaper than my old car. Okay. Can you repeat it again, please, Oscar? Can you repeat it again? Okay. My new cars is cheaper than my old cars. Okay. My new car mm -hmm, is cheaper than my old car. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheap. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. What about Janet and then Marvin? My father is happier than my father. Okay. My, my mother. My mother helped the father. Okay, uh, remember something important is verb B. Mm -hmm. My father my is. Mm -hmm. My father is happier than my mother. And that's okay. Okay, thank you. Very, very nice. We go uh, a question, uh, Mirna. Angel is your last name? O es, es apellido o es nombre? Angel? Yes, es apellido. Ah, primera vez que lo hace. Okay, no problem. Thank you. And what about Marvin? My sister is braver than me. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Uh, Carla and then Julissa. Carly, hello. Okay, I'll sweeter than two pussies. Mm, definitely, yes. Okay. I'm sorry, eh, mi, mi mouse está muriendo, así que no podía encender el micrófono. <laughs> okay, ya está en las últimas. I understand. Okay. Quitarle la pila a la tu. ¿Cómo se llama? Ah, no, 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 no es inalámbrico. Es de USB. Ah, pues sí, sí más tenemos complicado. No problem. Okay, Julissa and Juan. My mother is angry than my sister. Angrier. 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 Angrier than my sister. Okay, very good comparison. Juan and then uh, Flor. Okay, teacher. My car are cheaper than Land Cruiser. Mm -hmm. My car is, or my cars. My car ah, is my car is cheaper okay. than, than Land Cruiser. Definitely, okay, good. <clears throat> and Flor okay. and Fernando. Uh -huh. Oh, you have a lot of cars. Very nice one. Good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. Uh, what about Flor and Fernando? Uh, the, uh, 
The parquet is angry the dog. Okay. Para kids. Okay, angrier. Mm -hmm. Angrier, thank angrier. you. Fernando and Fatima. Yesterday was more wonderful than today. Okay, good, Fernando. Okay, a good uh, Monday. Fatima and then Douglas. It's more beautiful. Can you repeat it again? ¿Quién es más hermoso o más hermosa? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. El conejo. El conejo es más hermoso. The rabbit. The rabbit the is, is more beautiful than? The cat. Than the cat. The cat. Okay. The cat. Yes, yes. Rabbits are really good. They're very cute. Yeah. Como bien. Uh -huh. Bien sensibles. Douglas and Cesar. Drink water. Is better than drink soda. Perfect. Better. Eh, vamos a ver si tenemos better acá. Ayer los, yesterday I was talking about that, right? Very good. And we go now with Cesar. Yeah, Keanu Reeves is more famous that, than Joseph Lora. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, yes. And it's yes, more famous. And what about... Kevin Wright, no sé si Kevin me lo dijo al final. Kevin y Odalis. Happy, happy thing. My mother. Mm -hmm. Happier, mm -hmm. happier then. Okay, thank you. And Odalis. Happier. 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 Mm -hmm. What about Odalis? Okay, um, something important is that we're going to compare things, aunque nos han enseñado, we have taught that comparison are not so good, but it is good when you have to compare some prices, cuando vas a comparar precios. Okay, you can compare prices, you can notice if something is comfortable or not, cuando algo es uh, cómodo, uh, cuando es agradable. Okay, a lot of things. Yes, and then we're going to with uh, superlatives, but by now, the first speaking activity. What is the most dangerous thing you have done? Que lo más peligroso que han hecho. Okay, I, I know if there are some crimes, don't be so detailed. You don't have to be so specific, but you can say some things, maybe. If you have been in jail, if you have been to jail, si han estado en, en prisión, I hope not, but in case you, what, you hurt yourself uh, because of the curiosity, I don't know, a lot of things that maybe we can express, you can talk about dogs, or once when you were in a getaway, si estaban escapando de algo, o de alguien, okay. So, uh, let's talk about this. I guess you have a lot of anecdotes. Creo que tiene bastantes anecdotes, but let's listen to some of you. Maybe we can have, in this case, Cesar. I don't know if you are ready with your uh, answer. No, teacher. Okay, I'm going to give you time, okay? Just give me one second, okay?
Okay, maybe we can start with Daniela. Carla, can you tell us about something dangerous that you have done? Yes, uh, I'm going to tell you. Okay. On, thank you. on vacations, my family and I went to the beach with my grandfather. So it was a lot of fun and relaxing maybe. But when the night come, when the night came, my grandfather was already drunk. Okay. And he wouldn't let someone else take the wheel. And it was terrifying. But anyways, uh, seguimos. Um, uh, in that moment, he was uh, doing a zigzag in the street. Okay, yes, driving, driving in zigzag. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was driving in a zigzag. And, and then a truck came Appeared. in front of us. Okay. Yes, came in front of us uh, currently, instantly. And it was so scared. But, but no accident. There was no, no car crash. Only almost collide. But anyways, it was a <laughs> okay. all susto. <laughs> Yes, but that was uh, very, very dangerous because yeah. if the accident uh, happened, maybe some of you could have died, right? Yeah, and it was around 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the street of La Unión. Okay. In la, la carretera. Mm -hmm. Entonces no se veía nada. Okay. <laughs> okay, good, but Carla, I guess that what there is another chance that you have to live because if an accident like that uh, that would be really, really bad, and especially because of the distance, an ambulance in the time that an ambulance uh, takes to get there and some other things. Okay. Yes, unfortunately, uh, the house it, it was. Near. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, it was around. Uh, but you were very scared. 15, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. nice, but yes. Pero yes. casi fueron mis últimos minutos. <laughs> Pero que tu vida pasó enfrente de ti. Yes, sí. very dangerous. Sí, okay, sí. thank you, Carla, to share for sharing that extreme experience. Thank you very much. Okay, what about if we listen now to Fatima? Are you ready, Fatima, to share one anecdote? Yes. Okay, uh, please. Press the accelerator instead of the brake on a downgrade. <laughs> okay, uh, always in a car. In a car. In a car. Um, you yeah. were you were driving, or yeah. One? Okay, so maybe you were scared, but instead of pressing the brake, you press yeah. the the accelerator, right? Yeah. Wow, that's really bad. <laughs> no accident in there. No, no. Maybe it was like a kind of reflex. Fue como un reflejo que tuviste, right? Sí, creo oh, que era accident. los mismos nervios, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the same, the same. Fortunately, no, there was nobody or. Uh, any pet, okay, it's all right, very good. <laughs> okay, so thank you for sharing, Fatima. Fortunately, nobody, uh, nobody was hurt, okay. Carla and Fatima, two dangerous experiences in a car, okay. And what if we listen now to Mario, Eduardo, are you ready to share your answer? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, please. The most dangerous thing I do when I uh, dr drive a car. Mm -hmm. In my first time, I feel so nervous to, to drive a pickup. Okay. Because because it's more. Uh, it's bigger. It's, uh, it's bigger. Mm -hmm. 
So it's the most thing dangerous I do because um, the streets I practice is um, urban. Ah, okay, with a lot yeah. of cars, and the streets are yes. very it's narrow. Very difficult when yes, it's you, difficult when you drive first time. And we don't, and yes, when you don't have too much experience, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, teach. Okay. Okay, so, but no accident, nobody no. got hurt. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, we continue with the same line, right? With, with the, we continue with cars, talking about cars, driving. It could be in the countryside, in a very long distance, or in urban areas. That's quite complicated, right? Thank you, Marie. Very good. How old were you? You were very young, maybe 18 years old, 19, 20 years old? 14 years, years old. Oh, 14, you were an adolescent. Yes, you were very <laughs> young. That's why yes. you didn't have too much experience. Okay, thank you, Mario. Very Ay, nice. Le dijo, teacher, que no le Vaya, faltó, yo creo que faltó. There were uh, more yes. information. I have the drive license. I know. Oh. <laughs> okay, very nice. Thank you. And let's listen in this case to Julissa. Are you ready to share your experience? Okay, Julissa may be not ready, but if Julissa is not ready, let's move to Liliana. What okay. about you, Liliana? Uh, once I traveled to the other side of the world alone. Alone? And, yeah. And I did not know anyone. No conocía a nadie. Yes, that's very extreme. And when you travel alone, it's very different when you travel with company, right? Yeah. Because in company, you can talk, even you can get lost. Puedes perder. But because you have uh, a person or company, you are not afraid, not in mucho miedo, but being alone yeah. and lost, yes, in a different yeah. environment, different people, language. country. Language. Language, yes, yeah. language. The what country? Mm -hmm. Sorry. The okay, continue, please. Is in other, another language, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another language. What country did you visit? Europa, Italia. Europe, Italy. Yes. And actually, maybe there are some people who speak uh, English or Spanish, but it's not the same, definitely. No, no only uh, Ital Ital Italian. Mm -hmm. Italian. Italian people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's a good adventure. Liliana, I would like to experience that. Me gustaría experimentar definitely. That changed All of you. Us. <laughs> yes, why not? <laughs> All of us. Maybe someday. Thank you, Liliana. Very nice. And we're going to continue with this. Okay. In this case, um, here we have a short conversation. Okay. And before we go to the conversation, here we have some questions. As you can see, what is reputations? Okay, how do businesses build their reputation? What is the reputation of the place you work for? Okay, talking about companies, you already know that there are some companies and which they have bad reputations with the employees or with the customers. And that's really, really hard and it's hard because uh, you are not going to recommend that place even to work or to consume. So I don't know what is the reputation of your company. We are not going to talk about bad or negative things. Don't worry. We're not going to talk about bad or negative experiences, but you already know the place you, where you work, okay? Um, so here we have this, Daniel and Jessica. And they are going to have, well, they're having a conversation. It says like this. So Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for the kids. 
I see. And what is Rex noun for? What is Rex noun for? Rex is known for the model designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Aquí no se dice absolutely. La E se omite. Absolutely. Rex is recognized. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. Let me see. Okay. Congratulations, Jessica. Um, you're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay. So, cuando decimos rated, es como que está puntuada. Está en un ranking. Okay. So, um, in this case, let me, sh let me show you something. Okay. And um, modern designs. Vamos a ponerlo nuevamente acá. Aquí vamos a utilizar verbos que están en pasado o en pasado participio. Ya les voy a mostrar una lista. Ok. Le dice, entonces, Jessica, ¿qué hace tu compañía? Y le dice, en Rex producimos ropa para niños, ya veo. ¿Y por qué has conocido a Rex? Rex es conocido por sus diseños modernos y la calidad de ropas que, ropa que nosotros hacemos. Genial. ¿Es feliz de trabajar en Rex? Absolutamente. Absolutely. Es un adverbio. Rex es eh, reconocida como una compañía muy prestigiosa. Su personal es importante para ellos. Ya les había dicho que personal es cuando ustedes tienen algo personal. Por ejemplo, we, I have personal problems problemas personales, pero cuando decimos personal, they are talking about employees, ok um, it's important for them eh, felicidades Jessica eh, tiene razón, Rex está ubicada eh, como una de las 10 mejores o de las 10 mm, más prestigiosas compañías en El Salvador so, eh, maybe we can have a screenshot in here Tal vez puedan tener una captura de pantalla. Tal vez nos ayuda Juan. Yo se lo mandé. Thank you, Juan. Very nice. Ahora que tenemos esto. Thank you very much, my friend. Quiero explicarles algo antes de continuar con la conversación. Okay, let me show you this image. En esta imagen tenemos dos cosas. Verbos regulares. Ven acá. Tenemos verbos regulares. Y tenemos verbos irregulares. Ok. Regular and irregular verbs. In this, here we have present, past, and past participle. And also here we have present, past, or past participle. But uh, to apply the passive voice, para aplicar la voz pasiva, se utiliza normalmente el pasado o el pasado participio. What is past and what is past participle? Ejemplo. Accept es aceptar. Accepted es aceptaba. Pero el pasado participio de accepted significa aceptado. Ok. Vamos con la siguiente. Tenemos acá do. Este es, ir, este es irregular. Do es hacer. Did es hacía. Pero el pasado participio don significa hecho. Ok. 
Eh, tenemos divide, divide, divide significa dividi, dividir, eh, dividía, dividido. Y la última, vamos a ver, hate es odiar. Hated es odiaba y hated odiaba. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que el pasado participio normalmente termina en ado, edo. ¿Verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, bailado, sellado. Hay excepciones, por ejemplo, escrito. No decimos escribido, ¿verdad? Decimos escrito, ¿verdad? Eh, no decimos ha sido, decimos hecho. Right? There are some exceptions, definitely, but in, the, in most of the cases, y the words in Spanish ends in with ado, edo, ¿verdad? Manejado, experimentado, eh, yes, comido, dormido, a lot of things, ¿ok? So be eh, aware of this. Regular verbs, verbos regulares y los regulares, ya saben, irregulares, ya saben que los regulares solo le agregamos ed, miren, fácil. El fin de este cuento es súper fácil. Con los regulares solo ed y está en pasado o en pasado participio. Los irregulares cambian. Por ejemplo, do, did, done. Tenemos otro, por ejemplo, eat, ate, eaten. Y se pregunta, teacher, ¿pero cómo podemos identificarlos? Mm, it's kind of difficult. Tenemos que memorizarlos. That's why most people don't like irregular verbs. A mucha gente no le gustan los verbos irregulares por eso. But they are really necessary in English. Do we have questions until here? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta ahora? Ya voy a seguir explicando eso de lo de la voz pasiva. Ahora, había un verbo que es no. No, no está acá. No. Ni rated. Pero ya vamos a ver más ejemplos con respecto a eso. Okay, so um, we're going to practice a little bit this conversation. Okay, si hay dudas, verdad, con respecto a alguna pronunciación, verdad, acá, cuando dice Rex es conocido, no es, no, no, Rex es conocida, no, Rex es la compañía, okay, eh, aquí igual, Rex is recognized. Entonces son verbos eh, en pasado participio. Ok, we're going to practice a little bit in couples. Remember eh, to switch your dialogue. Tienen que intercambiar el diálogo, ¿verdad? Eh, between Daniel and Jessica. Let me see. Se lo tengo que ver. Ah, en este momento pueden darle pues una, una repasada a la conversación para que no tengan dificultades después al momento de la práctica. Okay, we're going to practice in a moment. Okay, please accept the request. Accept the solicitud. See you in a moment. Odalis and Kevin, necesito que acepten la solicitud, please.
Odalis, ¿es necesario que aceptes la solicitud?
Okay, in this case, here we have this conversation. Maybe we can have some practice and I will need some help. Maybe Noe, Vladimir. Who was your classmate, my friend? Yes, teacher. Okay, who was your partner in the uh, practice? Rosa. Rosa, okay, so you're going to be Daniel and Rosa is going to be Jessica. Please. Okay. Thank you. Rosa. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And um, what is Rex now for? Rex is not for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And um, are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right, Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. Thank you very much, my friends. Excellent pronunciation. Just one detail in this case, here we have recognized, recognized, okay? And very important is to know the reputation of any, every company. So, and in this case, here we have Come, uh, here we have say if the statements significa oraciones statements below are below is abajo true or false from one to four so in this case I'm going to select two Juan and then we go with Jose okay Juan select um, statement one two three or four Read it and then say if it is true, verdadero, or false, false. Okay. Uh, two. Number two. Can you read yes. it, please? People now wreck manufacture quality clothing for kids. Mm -hmm. True. Definitely true. Yes. It's a company. Mm -hmm which produces clothes, mm -hmm. quality, manufacturers. For kids. For kids, definitely, thank you. Uh, let's listen now to Jose, right? And after Jose, we go with Flor. Okay. Uh, four. Okay, four people. People, right. Ray, Rex, as one, of the 20 or 20? 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is it true or false? False. Okay, false, because it is not the 20 most prestigious, it's the 10, right? Thank you, Flor. And after Flor, we go with Fernando. Um... Number three. Three, okay. People see Rex as prestigious company. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, false, false. Do you consider it is false? False. Mm -hmm. Well, veamos lo que dice Daniel. One of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. So, people see Rex as prestigious. Mm, okay. Aquí dice Daniel que Rex está ubicada en las 10 compañías más Mejores, prestigiosas. Prestigiosas. Uh -huh. Ajá, so could... pero ahí está diciendo que es su gente. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Rex is traded. Uh -huh. Y habla de la compañía. 
people see la gente de Rex como una compañía prestigiosa. Do you consider it is false? Uh, true. true. Deberíamos, porque como también dice que su pers personal is important for them, mm, could be true. And we go with okay. the last one. And who is the last one? Fernando, right? Yes, uh, number one. Uh, people know the rest produce clothes, white more designs for kids is true. Okay, thank you, my friend. Very nice. Now here we have this. Um, Aquí tenemos lo del passive voice, ¿ok? Entonces, aquí tenemos cuál de las oraciones eh, se enfoca en las personas que hacen las acciones, ¿verdad? Y cuáles son las oraciones que enfocan las acciones a ser conocidas o reconocidas. Ahora, use the passive voice to emphasize that actions are more important than the doers. Oigan bien, la, cuando utilizamos la pas voz pasiva, Quiere decir que las acciones son más importantes que los sujetos o las personas que hacen eso. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, Rex is recognized as a prestigious company. ¿Ok? Eh, Rex es reconocida como una compañía prestigiosa. ¿Ok? Aquí tenemos Rex is, Rex is rated as one of the ten most prestigious companies. Que Rex está ubicada en uno, como una de las 10 eh, compañías más prestigiosas. Entonces, no estamos diciendo quién reconoce a Rex, no estamos diciendo quién evalúa a Rex, solo estamos diciendo, ¿verdad?, que es, es reconocida y que está evaluada, ¿ok? To say a sentence in passive voice, use the verb to be followed by the present participle, past participle of the main verb. O sea, que vamos a utilizar el do, ¿Verdad? O podemos utilizar el verbo to be. Aparte de eso, el verbo en pasado participio. Y aquí vamos a tener un claro ejemplo. Este es el ejemplo más claro que les puedo poner. A normal sentence is this. He opens the door. Él abre la puerta. ¿Ok? Pero si utilizamos la voz pasiva... Quiere decir, it means that he, esto que es lo más importante, pasa a ser secundario. Y lo más importante es el objeto. Aquí en la primera dice, él abre la puerta. En la segunda oración dice, la puerta está abierta. The door is open. Ustedes pueden ponerle por él o puede que, puede que no. Pero lo importante es que la puerta está abierta, no quien la abre. Ok, so that's the main point, eh, que el, el sujeto pasa a ser secundario y lo más importante es el objeto, que en este caso es la puerta y la acción que está abierta. Ok, we're going to see this in a couple of minutes because here we have some other exercises para que después lo entendamos mejor. Let's go with the listening. Vamos con un listening. Please uh, try to pay attention. If you have some pen or pencils, uh, be ready. So you can write some words or phrases. And then we can have like, uh, we, you can share opinions and you can share what you heard. Pueden uh, compartir después lo que escucharon. Okay, let's listen two times, two veces. Life. There is a great deal of worry around us the entire day, which makes it part of our brain's obstacles. The pressure can emerge at the office, at home, in certain relations, or in whatever else. While taking care of these sorts of pressure, people don't find the opportunity to see the excellence of life. We overlook that there is something more in our life, which is significant and wonderful. God has given us a lot of beneficial things like the magnificence of nature in our life. Okay, let's listen one more time. Life. 
There is a great deal of worry around us the entire day, which makes it part of our brain's obstacles. The pressure can emerge at the office, at home, in certain relations, or in whatever else. While taking care of these sorts of pressure, people don't find the opportunity to see the excellence of life. We overlook that there is something more in our life, which is significant and wonderful. God has given us a lot of beneficial things like the magnificence of nature in our life. Okay. Let's listen to Janet and then we go with Oscar. Okay. Words or phrases that you identified? Uh, Office. Okay. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Oscar and then Abel. People opportunity opportunities. People opportunities. Uh, Okay. Significantly wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we go okay. now with Abel and Fatima. Okay. Great. Life. Mm -hmm. the, office, the office. At home. Opportunity. Magnific. The whatever. Whatever else. Okay. Thank you. Fatima and then Liliana. Office, setting, excellent, opportune, opportunity, more obstacles. Okay, very nice. Flo, uh, Liliana and Flor. Life, difficult, opportunity, benefits, pleasure, thing, great, and whatever else. Mm -hmm. Good one. And Flor, please. Uh, life is obstacle the office people opportunity in your life beneficious or life beneficious things thank you you have a lot of words i like that okay the here we have life there is a great deal of worry around us the entire day which makes part of our brain's obstacles the pressure okay maybe we can have some Important words, for example, this. Y esto que si quiero detenerme un poco. I have heard some expressions. He escuchado mm. expresiones. Cuando decimos whatever, nos referimos a lo que sea. Wherever, donde sea. Whoever, quien sea. Ok. And, parece que alguien tiene activado el micrófono. Luego tenemos whenever. Ok. Whatever significa lo que sea. Wherever, donde sea. Whoever, quien sea. Eh, whenever, cuando sea. O sea que el ever es como sea, sea, sea. Ese es el fijo. Mi punto es el siguiente. I heard some teenagers or kids, a veces algunos muchachos cuando están hablando. ¿Qué quieren comer? Eh, por ejemplo, pollo, pizza. Y todos dicen, ah, wherever. But wherever es donde sea. Lo que ellos deben de decir es whatever. So in, in the case, you want to say this expression, of course, you can apply it, but remember to say whatever. Pero si te preguntan, where do you want to go? To the park or to the, to the beach? Yeah, wherever, donde sea. Okay, and who is in charge of bringing the pizza? ¿Quién se encarga de traer la pizza? Um, whoever, quien sea. Okay, whenever. When do you want to go to the party? ¿Cuándo quieres ir a una fiesta? Hmm? Whenever, cuando sea. Okay, es como que no tiene cierta importancia, como que da igual. Remember, whatever, wherever, whoever, whenever. Important words. So you can know the difference. Entonces aquí dice whatever else, lo que sea. Okay. 
And of course, uh, you said, mm -hmm. you said office, mm -hmm. pressure, 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 opportunity, and that's it. I guess we have mm -hmm. most of the words you already know them. Ya conocen la mayoría de estas palabras, okay? So, no problem with this. We continue with the next activity. In 45 minutes, terminamos la clase, okay? Así que vamos pues a avanzar. Complete the statements using the passive voice of the verbs in parentheses. Recordando lo que les comentaba de la voz pasiva, okay? Si tenemos, uh, he opens the door, sería the door is open. The door is open. So, in these exercises, tenemos en estos ejercicios. For example, our company is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. Podemos ver que utilizamos el is y también utilizamos el considered. No consider, sino con ed al final. Considered. So, en ese caso, eh, tenemos claro que esta comp nuestra compañía es considerada la mejor fabricante de escobas en el país. Ok. So, aquí, una clave acá, es esto. Is considered. O sea que aquí vamos a utilizar rated, perceived, aquí es seen, known, rated. Ok. Let's listen to some of you. Carla, please take one of these sentence. And then we go with Abel, please. The brand is seen as the leader in the energy drinks market. I'm sorry, what number? Four, right? Four. Four. Okay, the brand? Is seen. Yes. As, as the, the leader. leader in the energy drinks market. Thank you. La marca es vista como la, la líder en el mercado de bebidas de energía. Ok. O energéticas, bebidas energéticas. Ok, thank you. We go with Abel and then we go with Douglas. Um, three. Three, ok. Our, our, custom our post customer service agent perceived as the most efficient in the sector. Efficient in the sector. Very nice. Yeah. Solo que falta el verbo to be. Aquí podría ser is o podría ser are. What do you think? Are. Mm -hmm. Because we are talking about agent. Our customer service agent. Bien. Nuestro servicio Uh -huh. de uh -huh. nuestro servicio ¿verdad? De, de, de atención al cliente entonces our customer service estamos hablando singular aunque dice agent is perceived ok porque estamos hablando del servicio uh -huh. no de los ángeles sino que del servicio sí. thank you Abel ok uh, Douglas number two five or six and after Douglas we go with Fátima Number six. Okay, number six. Oh, our vegetables is our vegetables is rated as the less contaminated of the national market. Very nice. So, que in este caso, si utilizaríamos el plural, de no sería is, sino que sería are. Are. Mm -hmm. Nuestros vegetales, are. nuestras verduras, mm -hmm, son consideradas o oh, oh, evaluadas como las menos contaminadas. Okay, thank you. Fátima, and after Fátima, we're going to have Marvin. Two, two. or five. Number okay, two. let's go with number two. Our products are rated as fine, a fine of the most popular in the United States. Yes. Mm -hmm. As Five of the most popular mm -hmm, in the United States. Yes, are ready. Very good, Fatima. And we go with Marvin. Can you help us with number five, please? The company is known as major producer of shoes in the region. Perfect. 
is known mm -hmm. as a major producer of shoes in the region. Thank you. You are doing a really good job. Okay, so uh, here we have this. Write a fine line paragraph about the reputation of the company. Use the passive voice. Vamos a escribir un pequeño párrafo. No es necesario que sea de cinco líneas. But you can say, for example, uh, the company is known, ¿verdad? Es conocido. Uh -huh. eh, aquí en este caso, ¿verdad? Tenemos, por ejemplo, we have these examples. Uh -huh. Uh, as a major producer of shoes in the region, entonces en este caso podemos decir, ¿verdad? La compañía es conocida como, como uh, as a major producer of, o en lugar de esto pueden escribir, is known by the good products yes sí. o oh, the company porque no vamos a decir mi compañía dice juan porque no nos pertenece but we can say the company or the workplace okay the company La compañía está ubicada, it's located in San Salvador, in Santa Ana, in wherever, ok? So, eh, podemos utilizar estas dos eh, que oraciones, ustedes completenla y pueden agregar otro tipo de, ¿cómo se llama? De oraciones, por ejemplo, the company is rated mm -hmm, on the top. 10 in El Salvador. Ok. Depende. Ustedes pueden hacer dos o tres oraciones acerca about your company. I'm going to give you two minutes. Le voy a dar dos minutos para que puedan hacerla. Okay. I'm giving you some examples how you can do it. Ok. Two minutes. Okay. Yes, Carla. How can I say proveedor? Mm, provider. Provider. Or supplier. Cualquiera de los dos. Okay. Thank you. Mm, provider, supplier. Mm -hmm. Any other question, my friends? Then you can start by creating three sentences, two sentences, depends on you. Sé que conocen bien su compañía. O la compañía, the company where you work. Donde trabaja. Okay, two minutes.
Do you have anybody? Tenemos a alguien. Ready? No, okay, I'm going to give you one more minute. Yo ya tengo las mías, pero no sé si están bien. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's do it. Why not? La vida es un riesgo. Okay. So uh, we have Juan and then we have Marvin, I guess, right? Or I don't know. Okay. Okay, Juan, you the, go. The company is now for Urbanicize Santa Elena. Okay. Okay. Uh, very nice. Only one? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Who is the, the other participant who said that it's finished? Creo que había alguien más. Yo. Okay, Jose, right? Or Oscar, I don't know. Yo, yo, teacher. Yo, okay. Okay. Okay, Oscar, and then Jose. Dale, Jose. Okay, Jose. No problem. Ah, okay, okay. But, uh, the company is located. Uh, Located. Located, mm -hmm. located is the Ejército Boulevards in Soyapango City. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, the it... company is now for selling house household products. Okay. Okay, households. Very nice, Jose. Thank you. Okay, Oscar, you go and then let's see who else. Okay. Uh, the company is now is a leader in logistics. Uh, two, uh, the company is rider of the three in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Interesting information. Thank you, Oscar. Okay. okay, who else? Can you see? It's not that difficult, not that difficult. Teacher. Yes. Marvin was ready. Marvin, okay. Yes. <laughs> ya te pusieron el dedo, Marvin. You go. Gracias, Mario. <laughs> Siempre ayudando. Okay. Sí. <laughs> the company is known for being an excellent workplace. Mm -hmm. Nice. The, the company is rated between the three bitter avicolas company. And the last one, the company's products are rated as the best in the area. Mm hmm Interesting. Thank you. Very nice information. Who else? King Mas. Me, teacher. Okay, let's go with Liliana. The company is known for its low price in the market. It is mm. located in all departments of the country. Very nice. Okay. Que es para tus, dice Liliana. Sale bien ahí. Thank you. Anybody else? I'm waiting, estoy esperando. I can do it. Okay, Carly. Okay. Almacén Pacifico is known as the major provider of fabrics in El Salvador nice. by the quality of our products and is known for having the best customer service in the fabric industry. Excellent. Ya hizo un buen marketing. Hago de ahí, cuento. Mira. Vaya. <laughs> Le da comisión a Carly. Okay. The announcers, good. Talidad tiburón, me llega. I like it, I like it. Okay, who else? Los esperamos, dice. Who else? I'm waiting for the rest. What about if we listen to Mario, Fatima, Douglas? I'm ready, teacher. Please. The company is known by the good American product. The mm -hmm. company is located in San Juan of Pico. <laughs> okay. Uh, the company is rated on the top five in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Yes, it's, and it's... the company is considered ship shopping. I don't know. Oh. What is. Okay. okay, ship shopping. También haciendo ahí el, el verso ahí con Carly. Very yes. nice. Thank you. Uh, Fatima. Douglas. 
I teacher. Okay, Laura. The company is known for its reability. No sé si se dice esa palabra. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and in Ocean Prey and good customer service. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very well done. What about Douglas, Fatima, Noé, César? Yes, teacher. Okay, Fatima. The company is local uh, in San Sebastián, San Vicente. Is reconocido in the far central area of El Salvador of the most profitable in Seri. Okay, very nice. It's located, mm -hmm. located. located. San Sebastián. Okay. San Sebastián, where is that? Ciudad de la Jamaca. Ah, uh, okay, Ciudad de la Jamaca. Yeah. Very nice. And who else? Vamos a ver, vamos avanzando. 29 minutos y terminamos. Teacher, I am ready. Okay, uh, César en Odalis. Okay, the company is now for the produce the best steel in the region. Okay. Uh, best the, in the region. The company is located in all central. Okay. Okay, located mm -hmm. in all Central America. Okay, very big company. Okay, Odalis and Noe, if they are ready. Puedo continuar con los de Fatima, empezó. Yes, well, well, go ahead. Compañera. Ellen, aprovecha um, el momento de forma. Um, Recibe a credit company. This company of Pro tab saving. No sé cómo se dice ahorros. No sé yeah, si savings. No. Savings. savings. The mm -hmm. company offer the best interest rate. Okay, thank you very much. Let's listen now to Noé, Fernando. Okay, teacher. Uh, the company is now as major American clothing distributor. And the company is retailed on the top three in El Salvador. And the mm -hmm. company is located in East Opico. Okay, it's located in Opico. Thank you. Fernando Flor. Hi, teacher. Okay, Flor. Uh, you go. The company is now snowed as one of the best city halls in El Salvador. Mm, interesting. Which one? Time for a floor. Okay. Um, who else? Julissa, Mirna, Jeanette. The company is located and is in Olocuilta. Okay. Interesting. The company make clothes for the place home as jackets of the North Face. Mm -hmm. Ah, very known brand. Thank you. Okay, Kevin and Douglas. The company oh, is the company is now as the repair station for the aircraft in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. The company is located in uh, Aero Airport International. Uh, the company is rated, is rated on the top three of the world. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you. What about who else? Kevin, creo que iba, ¿verdad? Yes. And uh, then, uh -huh. the Please. same company is World or Variety of estilo. Okay. Teacher, pues yo es que se me falla, me fallaba el inter. Vamos, Julius. Yeah, vamos. Uh, the company is located in Santa Elena. Um, the company is considered as one of 
the supplier of the Serpento motorcycle. Ah, okay. Very, na very common mm -hmm. brand. Una marca conocida. Thank you. And what if we listen now to Rosa? Okay, if Rosa is not ready, Alexandra. Okay. The company is the best in the region. Mm -hmm. The company uh, provide provide the best customer service. The company has the best uh, prices. 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 Uh, the company has the best prices. The company is located in Paseo General Escalón. Okay, thank you. And Abel, we finish with you. Okay, teacher. The company is San Salvador. And the strip, the mascota number 320. For the company is now for selling the ladies fashion in fabric. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Very well done, my friends. Okay, let's continue with this. What is the most dangerous thing you have done? In this case, what if we listen to Flor and then Cesar? Okay, Flor? Yeah. Tienes tu lado peligroso. The most dangerous things even there done is the work a dance people wanted to back in. To dance? En un baile. Mm -hmm, really? Okay. Excellent. Ya que veo que alguno que, que le gusta también. El baile, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Flor. Well, as that usually happens in some parties. Okay, we go now with Cesar and then Abel. Okay. Um, I was surfing one day and there was a rock. It mm -hmm. hit my leg. My leg. Oh, your leg. I could move in to swim. Okay, that was really Literalmente dangerous. me golpeé y no podía nadar, o sea, literalmente. You were que... about to, to die in there. Uh -huh. Sí, podías morir. And I had to stay afloat and the best got cold until someone noticed and helping me out. Yes, uh, something that was dangerous is to sink, hundirse. You yes. could sink. Mm -hmm. That's really dangerous, okay? Te voy a tener otra oportunidad para ser bueno. Yes. Thank you. Okay, let's listen now to Douglas and then Juan. Um, the most dangerous thing um, was the la was the last vacation. I went up. I went up to the hospital, and the brakes of my truck. Um, got hot. Fallero. Oh, got hot. Yes, got hot. Mm -hmm. When I went down, yes, uh, the my my pregnant pregnant wife and son were with me. Wow, that's dangerous for them, not only for you. And in that, it is a hill. It's como una colina super. Yeah. Bueno, no, it's a mountain. Una montaña, a big one. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and the, the, there is maybe the road is really narrow, aparte que es algo estrecho el camino. Yes, it's very sí. uh, complicated, imagine. And what happened? Mm -hmm. uh, you could stop. Pudiste detenerte, me imagino, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. With... uh, no, lo, el, el pedal se me iba, se me iba libre. Y okay, no, the, no the handbrake, el, el, el freno de mano te ayudó. Eh, no, esperé que se enfriara. Ok, yes. Como that's, por that's... 45 minutos. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you. Yes, even there was, I guess, was the name of this singer, un cantante Salvador, Alvaro Torres, had an accident in, in, in the hospital, in, in that street. Yeah. I guess the microbus, sí, sí, or no, the car where he was traveling, he moved, y creo que se fue al precipicio, por un árbol, because of the tree, he saved his life. Sí, there are a lot really? of accidents there. Yeah. Yes, there are a lot of accidents. Mm -hmm. I have I have been to Pital, the Idol Pital. I like that place. It's beautiful. But to get in there, para llegar ahí, it's not so easy. <laughs> okay, but the experience is yeah. really good. Yeah, in that forest. Thank you. Okay, uh, who else? Juan and then Abel. Okay, teacher. The most okay. dangerous thing you have done. Mm -hmm. uh, take with my hand a big wheel a snake. Snake? Yes. It, it was at home in your house or in another place? No. You were busy my, in another place? My office. Office? A snake yes. in your office? Yes, eh, como se dice, en el jardín. In the, in the garden. Mm -hmm. In the garden. Oh, yes. okay, there was a snake. Sí. O sea, eh, el vigilante mm -hmm. estaba un tanto cerca. El salvaje, Juan. Sí, y, y la, la, realmente la querían matar. Ah, yo por... Dije, y yo les dije que no, que le íbamos a agarrar para... Que la liberaran. Soltarla, ya, yeah, to free. Exacto. Entonces, y nadie se atrevía. Y yo les dije, así se hace. Y la agarré. Why? Very interesting. I wouldn't do it. Yo no, no lo hubiera hecho. No soy cocodrilo donde. Cocodrilo donde. 3.0. Hayden. Ah, Hayden. No, no. 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 Es, es Steve Irwin. Casi. Casi Steve Irwin. Why? Version Guanaca. Okay, Exacto. Juan. Do you know if that snake was dangerous? Because there are some of them that they have poison. Algunas que son bien venenosas, right? Sí. No. So, era, era it's una like masacuata. Ah, masacuata, pitón. Okay. Yes, but they can they, they can build, they can bite, pueden morderte también, verdad? Even claro. if it's not poison. Y duele. No, definitely. <laughs> it hurts, but it's easy to end. Okay. Thank bueno. you, Juan. Juan, el mm. cantador de serpientes. Okay. Y de otras fieras. Y de otras fieras que no vamos a mencionar. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Juan. Te van a regañar por estar hablando. Okay. No, no, no. And, and what about if we finished with Marvin? Ah, no, Abel. Falta Abel y Marvin. Okay, Abel. Okay, sure. The most dangerous thing I drive in my motorcycle for first time. Uh, for first time? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am nervous. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Because I never drive in the, on the street. Uh huh, on the street. Mm -hmm. And there was cars passing, even pasando los carros, I imagine, on the street. And you were like, yeah, very nervous. But nothing happened. Nothing bad happened. Nada malo pasó. No. Good for you. Good. Because I, I don't know if you have seen news, las noticias, a lot of accidents in, with the motorcycle. But a lot of people with good experience, they are okay. Mucha gente con experiencia, no problem. But definitely it is dangerous. Good for you, Abel, that nothing worse happened. After that, I have three accidents. Three accidents, okay, but not so, Thanks. not that bad, not tan mal, no, no estuvieron tan. Mm, algo. So, oh, okay. Yo creo que Dios te está mandando señales. God is uh, giving you some signs. Okay. Bendito, no te compré otra. Una Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, well. Be, good luck with that. <laughs> Buena suerte con eso. Thank you. 
Marvin, can you? Okay. Um, when I was a child, I disturbed the bees and I'm allergic people. Okay. Uh, you are allergic. Or yes. what? Of what? The que? Bees. Ah, bees. Yes. Uh, did you have some do you have accident with bees? Yes, I disturbed um uh, when I was a child and I had problem then. Okay, how many bees have have you what? Because they inject like poison, como que inject un, un veneno, verdad? That's what bees does. Okay, they yeah. have a thorn. Tienen como como una como una espinita, verdad? Tienen un aijón, the thorn. And, and how many? How many bees have uh, attacked right. you? Twenty. Twenty. Yes. Wow. No, it's a I can imagine you needed a lot of injection, Nita. How do you say inchado? Inchado. You can say like, let me see. Inchado, I will tell you. Inflamado sería. Uh -huh. eh, bueno, más. In eh. Sí, es que hinchado es léxico guanaco. Pues. <risa> él como, el, como el encantador sí. como el, el, el encantador de, de ya sabemos <risa> ok uh, let me see inflamed podemos decir uh -huh. inflamed inflamed imagine imagine I know a person who is allergic to any kind of insects yes and even there are people with they well they can eat seafood no pueden comer eh, mariscos because they have like the throat is inflamed and the air can cannot breathe. pass by they can't breathe okay so they can die definitely marvin my it's an uh, my mother's uh, boyfriend Está hablando de mí. <laughs> no puedo comer marisco. Okay, that's one example. So you have to take care. Okay, so be be ready with the cocktails. We are going to cocktail it. <laughs> Carly, what happened with your your new your new father? Or what? Hmm? Uh, uh, he is allergic. Uh, allergic to that. To the breath. ¿Cómo se dice pan dulce? Sweet bread. Mm -hmm. Okay. The bread, the sweet bread, the seafood. You kidding? Are you kidding? Yeah. No bread. He has lots of allergies. Really. Really. Yeah. Really. ¿Cómo va a ser posible con pancito? With Once, coffee. Uh, he almost died in my, in my house. Like this. Okay. So what? Uh, Definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, he almost he died. Because of the breath. Bien, nosotros yeah. morimos porque engordamos, but not because of the <laughs> breath, because the breath is delicious. We all love bread. Okay. Let's continue with this. And here we have this. What's the name of this song? Después seguimos con las preguntas. And I don't know if, who is this time? Cesar, I guess Cesar is your turn. Cesar? Yes, teacher. It's your turn, right? Yes. You go. Okay, are you ready or do you need time? No, I'm ready. Okay, perfect. Let's see. What's the name of this song? So let's wait. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you read it, please? Okay. Do you see a uh, blue sky now? You can have a better life now. Open your eyes, because no one here can ever stop us. They can try, but we won't let me then. No way. 
maybe you and I could pack our bag and say goodbye. Very nice lyrics. Se escucha bastante Cántela, bien. Cántela, César. Ah, ok. Cántela, Juan, así, cántela, Juan, cántela, César. Juan esperando, esperando <ríe> un punto artístico. Cabal. No, ya con la presentación ya tengo un punto. Ok. <ríe> Is it a band or an hey, artist? César, es su, su momento. <ríe> su momento. ¿Cómo? Eh, Juan es malo. Sí, de, 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 de que agarró serpiente, este Juan se, se ha vuelto César, más. Venga, a cantar. <ríe> Hasta redoblante estaba, dándole Juancito. Ahí está redoblante. Claro, Juancito es malo. Eh, Juancillo. Ok, César, it's a singer or a band? Band. Band. Aerosmith, creo que es. Aerosmith? Yes, it's Aerosmith. Really? And what's the name of the song? Because I don't remember. I like Fly Aerosmith. Away. Okay, Fly Away From Here. Um, you gotta fly away. Mm, that, that is like, okay. Yes, Fly fly Away From Here. Buenísimo. It's a, a, ballad, a romantic song. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. The video is very interesting, virtually. Okay, thank you, Cesar. And for tomorrow, we have Douglas. Douglas, está por ahí? Okay, Douglas eh, estaría a cargo de la canción de mañana. Okay, de la letra. And we're going to finish. Solo nos quedan ocho minutos. Eight minutes. We're about to finish. And for this one, and let's listen to the last people to talk about dangerous experiences. What about Noé? Noé, are you ready? And after Noé, we go with Mirna. Yes. Okay, Noé, please. My most dangerous experience was walking alone at three in the morning on the street of San Salvador five years ago. Five in the morning in the streets of San Salvador. Yeah. I guess similar to Hangover, como la película de que pasó ayer. Okay. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. No, you were in a party, right? Estabas en fiesta, ¿verdad? No. Club venía, dice. No, iba a trabajar bien tempranito. He was going to work very early. Exactly. Okay, very nice. Uh, let's listen to Janet and then we go with Oscar. When, when I got on the roller coaster. Okay, you were in a coaster in a public transportation? Yeah. And you fell down, te caíste or what happened? I know, so, bueno, como era primera vez que me subía a esa, la montaña rusa, yo sentía que ya casi se salía eso. Okay, yes. Uh, there are some people who have like vertigo, tienen vertigo, or they have fear yes. from the heights. Yes, and that happens. And when you feel the pressure, or even when you had the slides, los toboganes, for example, in Termo del Rio or whatever, Wherever mm. you can feel the pressure, puedes sentir una gran presión when you are falling. So that's it. Okay. But it's a good experience. Maybe you are not going to do it again. Quizá no lo vas a hacer, but anyway, you have the experience. Thank you, Oscar. And then we go with Kevin. Okay, teacher. Uh, the most dangerous is dreaming at excessive, excessive by spill because. I needed to get to my work early because I had an important meeting with my boss. Okay. You were really fast. Yeah, I see. Okay, yes. And I know that sometimes it is really important to be on time, but even if it is dangerous, you can have a big accident. Okay. okay. Thank you, Oscar. What about Kevin? And then we go with Odalis. Okay, este, once I'm family yeah. hell is winning, winning all. It's uh, no with uh, to 
with me. Ok. Hace tiempo, me imagino. Yes. Ok. We're about to finish. Ya casi terminamos. Odalis en rosa. I consider the nothing very relevant and moment. No, nothing <laughs> relevant. Yo creo que necesitas ahí ir a agarrar una serpiente con Juancito. Ay, no. Que, <laughs> Entonces sí. Alice, sentirlo. y cuando vio la película de miedo, no le dio miedo. <laughs> Ay, no, cállese. <laughs> ok. Ok. <laughs> Let me, we all need a kind of adrenaline. Todos necesitamos un poco de adrenalina en nuestras vidas. We do, definitely. Sí, dice Juancito. Ok. Rosa, bien, after Rosa, we go with Alexandra. We don't have Rosa ready. Ok. Let's listen to Alexandra. Are you ready? I have not done anything. Dangerous. Not dangerous. You are an angel. Innocent, right? No. Nothing dangerous. Okay, me río del peligro. Como Simba. Ok. No, quizás okay. es sobrevivir a cómo manejan una ruta que yo viajo. Quizás eso es lo más peligroso. Ok. Que tenga miedo a morir, que no nazca, dice. <risa> Cinco minutos por el trabajo, dice. <risa> no, primero, no sabe que dónde voy a llegar primero, si al cielo o a mi trabajo, pero de que oh. llego primero. You're going to be the first one. Ok, that at least. Que llegue al, mire, para ir al cielo hay dos rutas. No directo al cielo, hay dos rutas. No se queda medio camino. Ok. <risa> bueno, espero que pueda estar a tiempo. On time. Oh, ok. Sí, claro. Estoy a tiempo. Ok, nice. Creo que mi cerebro se está llenando de mucha información ahora. Ok. Thank you, my friends. What about Julissa? Estará por ahí. Hello there. Yes, teacher. Uh, uh -huh. Are you ready? I don't remember, teacher. No te acuerdas de tantas cosas. No, no, la verdad que igual casi no. Quizás lo único eh, ha sido driving drunk, sería. Pero no he tenido como que algo, algún susto. Okay. Así que yes, nada maybe. más. Yes, sometimes people drive like drunk. Un poquito chapudito, right? Okay. Extrema. Ready. Extrema. No, pero okay. nunca he tenido así como un susto decir que fue peligroso. Pero es lo único de ahí. No ojalá recuerdo no haber tenga, hecho nada pero... peligroso. Sí, ojalá que no. Ojalá. Yo creo que eso te va a curar. Ok. And I'm going to check the attendance list, my friends. Uh, the time went by. Ya se, se acabaron las dos horas, okay? Creo que ya se están emocionando con sus anécdotas peligrosas, but please stop. Maybe tomorrow we can talk about it. Please say hi, hello, good evening, or goodbye when you listen to your name, okay? Recordarles, recordarles que deben de terminar la unidad uno, ¿verdad? Las cinco tareas para mañana. Ok, please, if you have not completed, please do it. Si no lo han terminado, complíquenlo ahora. Sugerencia, porque mañana va a ser un poco más complicado. Ok. Eh, Abel, Edenilson. Present, teacher. Thank you, Alexandra. Present, teacher. Uh -huh, la que llega temprano es. Ok. César. Present, teacher. César, ya, ya tuviste la sesión de los... Eh, Ayer. De clase. Ok, sí. thank you. Ok, Douglas, no, si no está Douglas, entonces vamos con. Ok. Eh, Fátima. Present teacher. Ok, Fátima, vas a tener ahora la, la sesión de lo, de, después de clase, ok. Ok. Ok, thank you. And, ok, Fernando, I don't know if Fernando is there. 
Flor, hello. Present teacher. Thank you. Gisela Not. Eh, Jose Mauricio. Present. Thank you. El domador de serpientes. Juan Cito. Present teacher. Okay. De... <laughs> Julissa. Yo creo que debería de ser un... Present teacher. Thank you, Julissa. Una tarjetita de presentación ahí. Ok. Ok. De... Ya lo vamos a empezar a diseñar. Of course, yes. Carla. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Laura. Present. Laura, no nos dijiste tu experiencia peligrosa, tu experiencia religiosa y peligrosa. Uh, no sé si la digo ahorita. Ok, or tomorrow. Mm, tomorrow. Tomorrow, con video y fotos. Ok, bye bye. Uh, no, mejor ahorita entonces. Yes. No, tomorrow, ya dijiste. <risa> ok. Eh, Marvin. Present. Ok, Janet. Present, teacher. Ok, Odalis. Eh, Oscar. Present teacher. Nice. Ok. Eh, Rosa. Present teacher. Nice. Okay. Kevin. Present teacher. Thank you. Liliana. Present. Mario. Present teacher. Ok. Present. Thank you, my friends. Please finish. Por favor, terminen la unidad 1. Please do it. Ok. So, see you tomorrow. Buenas noches, sí, ya no hay cosas peligrosas. Teacher, teacher. Perdón, yo le voy a mandar ahí una imagen de, pero ya es de la unidad 2. Ok. Eh, que igual se supone que hay que ordenar la, la oración. La oración. Uh -huh. Sí, la ordené igual, me aparece como en el anterior que le comenté que Siempre me la daba errónea, pero al final... Envíamela, envíamela y ahí vemos, ¿ok? ¿O será porque no okay. le pone punto al final? A veces en ese... Ya, lo, ya lo hice, le cambié mayúscula al inicio, punto al final, o el signo de interrogación, igual no... La ortografía, sí. Vamos a revisar, mm. ¿ok, Juancito? Sí, de hecho tengo un print screen y se lo envío. Please, ok, okay. I'll be waiting, ok. Ok, bye. Nice. nice. Bye. 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 Goodbye, my friends. Y Fátima. Ah, y está, pensé que te había ido. No, teacher, aquí estoy. Ok, <laughs> Fátima. We can have two things. Veamos, eh, ¿quieres que revisemos algo, algún, alguna parte gramatical, algún tema que hayamos visto que se te dificulte o te puedo hacer una entrevista básica en inglés? Depends on you, depende de ti. Eh, creo, teacher, más que todo, eh, mañana en la parte que va a explicar mañana, siento que me cuesta un poco lo de la voz pasiva, o cuando usar también este, los adverbios y esas partes. Creo ok, que es el... sí. okay bom, vamos a trabajar un poquito con lo de la voz pasiva, así rápidamente. Sí. Bien, eh, as I told you before, here we have the sentence, he opens the door, y la voz pasiva, the door is open. Aquí tenemos estas oraciones. Okay. No, te voy a poner mejor estas. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Estas. La primera, eh, lo que tenemos que hacer son agregarle el is y el verbo pasarlo a pasado participio. El okay. pasado participio es este, mira. Entonces, como te acuerdas que expliqué, ¿verdad? Acá que el pasado sí. participio son estos y son regulares. Sí, sí. Los regulares son más fáciles porque terminan ED y los sí. irregulares cuestan un poco más, ¿ok? Sí. Esos son los que vamos a utilizar bien. Entonces, en este caso, eh, primera, mira, the room is swept twice a day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vale. Sí. Eh, veamos qué otras oraciones podemos hacer acá. This shop, shopping... Ok, this shop. Uh -huh. Ahora vamos con el verbo to be. Shop is open. Oja. Uh -huh. Open. Open it before, before eight. eight. Uh -huh. It's open con D al final. Vale, fácil. Ya viste. It's necessary the verb be. Es necesario el verbo to be. Is. 
o are, depende. Y are. el otro verbo que está, ya viste, solo se lo vamos a agregar. Vamos, ¿qué otra? Nice car are produced. Very nice. Nice cars are produced. Uh -huh. Produced in Germany. Vaya, está fácil. Vaya, a ver qué puedes. Ok, vamos a otra. Creo que sí, vea, solo es de ir como practicando un poco más, dicho. Uh -huh. Sí, es como ver la lógica, ¿verdad? Entonces, ah. entonces la primera, la segunda dice, eh, dice, esta tienda está abierta antes de las ocho. La tres dice, eh, buenos carros o los carros buenos son producidos en Alemania. Uh -huh. okay. Y alguna yeah. técnica, teacher, para como para comprender un poco más, eh, digamos, la, como las frases o las oraciones. Vaya, eh, te voy a sugerir tres cosas. Fíjate que casi que a la mayoría yo le sugiero eso. Uh -huh. La primera es, ¿qué tipo de música te gusta? ¿Perdón? ¿Qué tipo de música escuchas? ¿En inglés? Sí, la mayoría escucha en inglés. Ajá, baladas, este puede ser pop. Sí. Ok, ok. Entonces, si escuchas eh, todas esas, normalmente yo siempre les sugiero a todos que eh, escuchen y pongan atención a los coros de las canciones. Aprendételos y cantarlos. Quizás no cantarlo fuerte, porque tu vecino te va a escuchar, pero sí. pronunciarlos, porque a veces uno solo escucha y es cuando nosotros decimos, ah, yo lo entiendo, pero no lo hablo. Es porque necesitamos que nuestra lengua esté un poquito más, eh, más, más flojita para practicar. Okay. Ese es uno. Ese es uno. Sí. No te enfoques en traducir las letras de las canciones, no te enfoques en aprenderte todas las letras, los coros de las canciones, los coros. Sí. Esa es la clave, porque vas a aprenderte palabras y vas a encontrar como lógica en pronunciarlo. Uno. Dos, es necesario que veas series en inglés o puedes ver en YouTube. Hay un lugar que también se llama TED.com donde dan pequeños discursos. TED.com o solo buscas en YouTube, pones discursos de TED. Así se llama. TED es un programa donde hay, eh, son como monólogos. Ahora, sí. cuando vos veas eso o veas una serie o caricaturas en inglés, velo en inglés con subtítulos en inglés aunque sea cinco minutos al día tres minutos al día que lo, lo hagas tu cerebro se va a ir acomodando a eso, se va a ir adaptando porque se trata de que tu cerebro entre con otro tipo de cultura el inglés es parte de una cultura entonces configura tu whatsapp no tu whatsapp, sí puede ser o tu facebook en inglés tu teléfono y todo eso porque tu cerebro ya, ya sepa que share significa compartir que significa uh -huh. post, publicar, que sin tag, etiquetar. Entonces, yo ya cuando veas profile, no perfil, profile, ah, tu cerebro ya lo va a normalizar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y lo uh -huh. otro es que leas al menos uh -huh. dos minutos al día cualquier noticia. Buscaba en la BBC cualquier noticia en inglés, intenta leerlo, uh -huh. pronunciarlo. Y ya vas a ver, si haces todo eso, lo que te digo es que te tomas que tus cinco minutos al día para practicar de cualquiera de estas maneras, en estas semanas vas a aprender un montón. Y eso te lo digo porque a los eh, alumnos que lo han hecho, uh, me, he, he visto cambios. He visto ah. cambios, sí, en dos semanas he visto cambios en tres. Entonces, eh, sé que necesito un poco de tiempo, es sacrificio, pero ánimo, Fatima. Veo que tienes ¿sí? facilidad para algunas palabras. Nos hacen falta unir algunas frases y todo eso. Pero yo siento que tienes la habilidad. ¿verdad? Gracias. Así que ánimo, ¿verdad? Se nos acabó el tiempo, mira. Así que okay. nos vemos mañana. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Fatima. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.